Hi guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a flip through of my home management binder. I had a lot of fun putting this together and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Now, this is about 99% complete because there's still some stickers that I want to add. And of course, I have nothing filled out just yet for privacy reasons, but I still wanted to go ahead and share with you guys what I put together. Now, this system is what people in the planner community have referred to as a Frankenstein planner because it has multiple systems rolled into one. If you're familiar with any videos on my channel, you've probably seen this cover in my work planner setup. I'm no longer using that system. I'm currently using a reminder binder. So what better way to continue to use this beautiful cover than in my home management binder? I didn't want to go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff for a system that I'm just now getting back into. I used the home management binder back in 2014. So I'm just getting a feel for this again. I love how I set it up, but it's going to be all about consistency on my part. So I didn't want to go out and buy a whole new system and inserts and all that, which is why a lot of the stuff is either recycled or I printed it for free online. So getting into the cover, this is actually from the Purple Trail Planner. I did a review on it. I'll have a link for you guys to check out. And these discs are from the ARC system at Staples that I had in a previous planner that I used as well. So opening up the front cover, this Purple Trail Planner I had used as my blog planner, but now my blog, Chaotic Critic, now just serves as decor in my planner. That's another thing with this binder planner, however you want to refer to it as. I did not put a lot of decorative elements inside of here because I wanted to keep it simple and focused on what it is that I need to keep track of as far as dates and my finances and a central location for important documents, okay? So this is a key that I made and you know how they send you those things in the mail and you end up throwing them away, but this is one of the things that I received, this little house, and I covered it front and back with this Mombi paper and I created a key and all of the labels that you see like this are these Avery labels. So that's what I use. So inside of here, I have a year at a glance, um, the recycling schedule for my town, dates to remember, a 2018 overview, passwords, my $5 savings pocket, all of my expenses, and then important documents. As far as the principles, primarily I use those from Wendiful.com. I absolutely love all the principles that she has, but there's some of them that I did get from other places. So I'll have those annotated and I'll also have them linked in my corresponding blog post. So the first key that I created, so I have the master key here, but I also have keys within each of my sections. And I just took this textured piece of scrapbook paper that I got on clearance at Michael's and I used those same Avery labels and then I used these dot stickers from Dollar Tree and I just took the key. Well, I created the key after I had already marked everything down. So my payday, that time of the month and my chiropractor appointments, I can see all that here by just opening up the binder. Then moving on, I have this dates to remember. I'm gonna put birthdays and holidays inside of here and I'm not sure what else, but that's what's gonna go in here first. And I got this on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And then right on the next page is the recycling schedule for my town. Now, the Frankenstein planner, like I said, putting multiple systems together, this layout here, this overview of 2018 is actually from the personal planner that I had reviewed and I was using that as a blog planner at one point. Yeah, I was going through like a planner. I don't even know, like a planner rut. It was just, I was, it was too much going on, but I saved it and thankfully I did because the system that I used in 2017, a lot of the birthdays that I put in, well, all the birthdays that I put in rolled over into this and I'm just, I marked off all my paydays. This sticker is from Stickersters and I put in my chiropractor appointments and any other dates and I can keep track of my appointments, my grandmother's appointments and all that or any events that I have to go to. 
Then on the back of that, I taped this password log. This is not from Wonderful. This is a printable I got. I was just searching on Google. So that is what's here. And I'm really bad at remembering all the passwords, especially since, you know, people pay a lot of bills digitally now. I'm kind of on that wave. I'm half and half. But that is what's that's what this password log is for now this dashboard is from the staples art collection as well and there was a tab over here I cut it off and right now it just has sticky notes this is one of those 99% done things because I want to put another one here these are posted tabs this one is from Target and then these two are happy planner sticky notes and then this one's from Target and then those Dollar Tree stickers in a Target pocket. And again, these are used in my perpetual calendar. Now, the personal planner, the overview of 2018 is inside of this system, but I also had to bring my squad with me. I am a diehard Steelers fan, so the cover that I created for the personal planner was my squad, my team. So you can customize that using Canva or PicMonkey. PicMonkey is no longer free, so Canva is a great option. I love Canva. And you can upload your custom design of whatever it is that you want, whatever collage you want to make. And they also have regular generic designs as well. But I love with Personal Planner that you can personalize, keyword of the brand, what it is that you're looking for in your planning. Then I saw Legalized Glitter on Instagram. She's one of my current faves. And she was talking about the $5 bills that she saves. And there's a lot of people that do this. So I thought that I'd give it a go. And this is a post-it pocket. And again, I took one of those Avery labels. And I just put savings. This is a Happy Planner sticker because I was using this in a different system and the sticker wasn't coming off. And then, of course, my cash on the inside. So... What I love about these posted pockets, for one, I bought these at Staples. They were inexpensive. I got three in a pack. They also have a larger size. I've used this in a disc bound system and when I was done using it in the disc bound system, I transferred it over to a ring system and now it's back inside of a disc bound system and I am able to change that and be as versatile as I want and where I have this because I have duct tape on this side and this duct tape is from Dollar Tree and I do have to use a hole puncher because well a regular hole punch because the Levenger punch will not punch through this so that's that and this is just regular scrapbook paper because I I just wanted to add a little something a little something extra and the wood grain is pretty basic right right so now each of these sections is all of my expenses all three principles inside of here are from Wonderful. Um, these stickers are reminder binder stickers, another Target pocket. Now, in between each of these, I do have a pair tea girl. And this is another thing that I had inside, uh, eh, excuse me, that I had inside of a ring bound planner when I was still going through my planner phase trying to test things out. But anyway, this is tape from Dollar Tree. It's their foil tape that they put out around Christmas. And again, it had the the holes for the um, ring bound planner, but I just used a hole puncher and made it work for this disc bound. So this is a little page marker. So we got, we got a little decor, but again, I didn't like purposely make these for this system. I just took them out of another system since they weren't being used and made it work for this one. And then on this paper, which is the same that I use for the key for my, um, for my perpetual calendar, I use the same paper and I put in, I put the Avery label. So this one is monthly expenses and this is a bill pay checklist and you have the date, the bill, and you mark it off from January to December whenever you pay it. And then flipping to the next girl, I have another pair tea girl and I did laminate these. Um, I use the self lamination sheet from Dollar Tree because I don't have a laminator just yet. But anyway, monthly spending and I have all 12 months inside of here. I just went ahead and printed them. I had first printed January to June, but I was like, forget it. I just printed all of them. And this actually said daily expenses, but I changed it to my monthly expenses again changing things and making systems work for you. 
So the date, the description, spent, received, total, need and want. This right here is very, very key, which will help me stay on track, which I failed at for January. But anyway, then on the back, I took Aaron Condren stickers that I wasn't using. They were like thank you labels or congrats or whatever. And I took more of those Avery labels and I put gas and toll, reminder binder stickers. And then this one is an oldie but goodie from Fabulously Plan. So I'm going to be tracking my gas and toll for the entire month on the back of here. Then this one here is the debt section. So another pair T girl and I have car credit and a credit card and Kohl's. Those are the three sheets that I have. And in this debt payment plan sheet, you have... The debt, total amount, minimum payment, interest rate, and then date, starting balance, payment, remaining balance. So I found that to be a sheet that'll be really helpful. Now, this is a divider that I made myself. Again, using that paper from Michael's that I've used all throughout this binder. And this is scrapbook paper that I just layered down here. This is from Hobby Lobby. And then I made a tab up here. And the pen that I use to make these, if you're interested, I use a Paper Mate Flare. And I also use my Sharpie pen. So those are the two that I used. And I have contacts, insurance docs, tax docs, and car maintenance. Now, I'll show you the contacts one. Again, this was another free printable. And then this is the vehicle maintenance log and I wanted to have this to not just track when I'm getting an oil change and God forbid anything happens to my car knock on wood I'm, I'm good on that but also to track when I'm doing the registration for my car as well as inspection so I wanted to have a central location for that as well so that is it for that and then I have a folder here that I recycled from Purple Trail and that has my insurance. Let me just pull that out real quick. Okay, so here's the folder. It is double sided. So I have insurance stuff in on both sides. And then here is where I have all of my tax documents and this folder may look familiar to you because it is one of the, as I'm dropping things trying to get to it one second it's one of these envelopes that i cut down from dollar tree and i used washi tape to secure the size that i cut and so that i could hole punch it and put it back inside of here now this thin tape can be hole punched with the levenger hole puncher that i showed but um not the not the duct tape so that is it for what I have inside of my home management binder. Super simple, recycling what I had, finding what was free online and making it work. I'll have full links to everything that I showed on my blog. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. It's always linked in the description box. Follow me on Instagram at chaoticcritic to keep up to date with everything that I have going on in my little planner world. Feel free to like, comment, and share this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!